Hello and welcome. My name is Chris and in this video I will show you how easy it is to draw inside a selected object and how to create a clip mask and a clip pad. I will select the shape and hide it just to demonstrate how easy it is to draw inside. So I will select the neck and up here I will choose draw inside. You'll notice that it created a clip pad and entered its context. Now I will create a shadow so I will go with the pen tool and draw a shape and it doesn't matter what shape it is because we can draw anything. After that we can also exit the context and change the shadow color. For this example I will switch to the fill brush and choose the shadow color from the ear. Now we can also modify the shape using the node tool. Just like that. And that's how you can draw inside the shape. If I move the object, it will move along with the shape that's inside. And of course, we can always go back inside the clip group and edit the shape. We can do that for any other shape that we have in our composition. For example, this body shape, I will choose to draw inside and choose the pen tool to draw the shadow. For now, it doesn't matter what the color of the shape is because we will change it later. I will exit and now we can choose the color for the shadow, for example, this dark blue. And of course, we can also manipulate the shape with the node tool. So I will go and select the node tool and modify the shape. It's that easy to draw inside any shape. Now let's move on on how to create a clip path. I will start by choosing the pen tool and draw a random shape just to demonstrate how to create a clip path. Now that I've created the shape, I will select the shape and the group and up here I will choose create clip path. And as you can see, the group is inside that shape. And if you want to modify the shape that is now the clip path, we can choose to double click to enter its context or just press the enter button on the keyboard. And now, with the node tool, we can modify the shape. And that's how you create a clip pad. Just to make sure the shape that you want to use as a clip pad is above all the selected objects that you want to be inside the clip group. Let's move on on how to create a clip mask. The process of creating a clip mask is the same as creating a clip pad. So I will draw a shape and I will select these two objects. And now up here, I will click on create clip mask. And that's how you create a clip mask. While the clip pad, as its name implies, uses the vector path you've created to show or hide whatever is inside the clip group. On the other hand, a clip mask uses the white color for anything that's visible and the black color for anything that is transparent. So you could use images and gradients as mask unlike the clip pad where only the hard edged vector pad is used. In this example, I have a white background and two letters A and B. I can show and hide those letters based on where my mask is. Of course, I can add a blur effect on the mask and because it's a mask, it can have soft edges. And like I mentioned, black means transparent and white means visible and anything between that, like grey, is semi-transparent. One other useful thing about clip masks is that you can create multiple masks that you can manipulate and, of course, animate individually. You can also change their shape, like so. And, of course, you can also change their appearance, like I will remove this effect. And that's how you can create clip masks and use them creatively. That's it for this video. If you learned something, like the video and consider subscribing and share it with your friends and co-workers. I'll see you in the next video.